I do a lot of interviews with people who are curious about how unschooling works. And lots of times they want to know if I have regrets or if there are anything that my now grown kids wish they had learned. I guess they hear so much good stuff about unschooling that they want to find where the flaws are. They know there have to be some skeletons in there. It can't be utopia. Well, I'm Sue Patterson, and this is the Unschooling Mom to Mom podcast. I'm here chatting with you each week, helping you feel inspired and encouraged to continue along the unschooling path. I have resources to help you in the show notes and at the website, guides, courses, coaching. So reach out if you need more help. But back to those people wanting to know where the flaws are. I mean, they're right about one thing. Unschooling is not utopia. And the truth is, some decisions do close doors. If you go left, you can't go right. If you choose to join the dive team one summer, you're probably going to have to take a pass on archery this year. Time, money, energy all play a part when we're making decisions. And life is full of decisions, right? But there are some things my kids didn't learn, and it was all because we unschooled. It's all because we took this unconventional approach and didn't choose the path everyone else chose. So I made a list, a baker's dozen, 13 things my unschooled kids did not learn. And as I share them with you, I want you to think about three things, your own school experiences, your child's school experiences, if they've been there or they're still in school, and your child's experience as an unschooled child. Maybe you're already unschooling, and you can see these same things being skipped. Your kids, like mine, just don't get to have these experiences. One decision simply takes them on a different path. So here's my list of things my kids did not learn because of unschooling. Number one, they didn't learn to hate the idea of learning. They didn't see learning or the term educational as something negative or something to avoid. They didn't get the message that learning isn't fun. Number two, they didn't learn that you have to wait for someone to tell you what the next right step is. They were never told to not read ahead of the group or discouraged to work on anything ahead of where the group was. They were not conditioned to wait and be spoon-fed. They were not forbidden to trust their instincts and punished for taking decent guesses. Being wrong wasn't the end of the world, so they didn't learn to avoid it at all costs. Number three, they didn't learn how to do the minimum to get the grade. They didn't learn to not be bothered with the actual learning of the topic. Just figure out what's expected and do that. They didn't learn that technique. They didn't learn the skill of trying to get by by doing the least you have to do to get the score or the grade you want. Number four, they didn't learn to set aside their interests until the adult in charge decides they can explore on their own. They didn't have this pounded into them so much that they stopped noticing what they were interested in. They didn't learn the lesson that the schoolwork matters more than their own interests and curiosities. Number five, they didn't learn that mistaken idea that there's only one right answer, one correct way to learn. Number six, they didn't learn to think they're better than someone else or worse than someone else because of how well they did in a certain subject. They didn't learn to value their worth or anyone else's because of scores on tests or grades or quizzes. Number seven. They didn't learn to make fun of people who don't conform or seemed a little different or weren't considered popular. Number eight, they didn't learn the idea that collaborating or working together is cheating. Number nine, they didn't learn that you can only be friends with the kids the same age as you. They didn't learn that that weird thing about kids younger than you or less than you somehow and Kids older than you were to be revered simply because of the year they were born. Number 10, they didn't learn to distrust adults 
or believe that the grown-ups were the enemy. Number 11, they didn't learn not to ask questions or to appear to not know something. They didn't learn about bluffing. Their curiosity pushed them to want to know more, not just appear smart. Number 12, they didn't learn to downplay their intelligence just to fit in. And number 13, they didn't learn the importance of conformity or the mistaken idea that conformity is what leads to success. It's no wonder so many of us grew up to be such people pleasers. Whether we were trying to get our peers to like us or win the approval of the teacher and the adults in our world, we didn't get much time to figure out who we really were, what we really liked, how we really wanted to live our lives. We do now, kind of. And for many of us, it's still a struggle. Those ways have been drummed into us. It takes a while to undo. It takes effort. And I'm not saying that my kids have perfect young adult lives. No one does. But they didn't have to overcome 12 years of these things and the ripple effect that happens because of it all. They won't have to carry that baggage into their adult lives as they become parents trying to figure out how to raise kids of their own. And it's all because of the choices we made as their parents. The choice to do something differently. The choice to set the priorities in a completely different place from those who send their kids to school or homeschool in more schoolish ways. It's because we unschooled. And your kids don't have to learn these lessons either. Isn't that a relief? So reach out if you need some support and I'll be back again with more of the Unschooling Mom to Mom podcast. And if you want to buy me a coffee, there's a link in the show notes. So enjoy your kids and take care. Happy unschooling.